All right, I think we're going live. So today I'm coming to you in my kitchen with some Tuesday tips and tricks for kitchen life. And something that is a little different today versus my past um, lives is that I have little helpers who are helping me today. And so they're working fastidiously in the kitchen here. I'll give you a little show. They're helping me with some cutting. Actually, here, I've got to figure out how to reverse. They're helping me over here. Hey, girls. Hey. So they are going to be helping me if you hear some noises in the background. And a couple of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you is how to incorporate children in your kitchen experience, whether you are a parent or a grandparent or you just have kids that happen to come around. Um, some great tools to be able to use for them. First of all, I'm going to show you a uh, not necessarily kitchen related thing, um, but it's a drink that I have grown to enjoy. I've, I've taken it for several years. It's You can get it at Costco or Sam's Club. I get mine on Amazon because they have the, cup, the flavor selections that I like. Uh, and I like to watch at Costco and at Sam's Club when they actually go on sale. Uh, because the prices are actually quite competitive online as to what you can find when they're not on sale at the larger stores. Um, but it's called Zip Fizz. I don't know if you've ever tried this before, but they're little powder tubes. They're chuck full with vitamins, and basically you get a bottle of water, and you drink a little bit of water out of the top and then pour the powder in. The reason why you want to drink the water out of the top is so that it doesn't fizz everywhere because it does grow uh, when you throw the powder in and so you want just a little space so you can shake it up in your water bottle but I often do this almost as a meal replacement it isn't necessarily intended to be that way but the flavor is enjoyable and it is um, something that I enjoy so I've been doing that as a meal replacement to just kind of help stretch things out and so if you look at it that way it's incredibly affordable and they have different flavors I personally like the grape the fruit punch and the orange soda flavor, but they have all kinds of different things. Um, Costco has their own flavors. They do not carry these anymore. And Sam's Club does actually carry these, uh, but they haven't been on sale for a while. So I'm always looking, if you see them go on sale, let me know because I like to buy up for the year uh, when they do go on sale. But currently I've just been ordering them off of Amazon. So I'm going live on Instagram, but I'm going to share it to my Facebook page. Instagram doesn't let me post my links very well. So if you are interested in any of this stuff, you can either go to my website, Adorned by Jennifer, or you can go to my Facebook page, Adorned by Jennifer. And um, my my email, or my website is new, it's adornedbyjennifer.com, but I'm still learning how to post things. And I tried to post all these things before I went live and the hyperlinks weren't working quite yet. So I will get that figured out. Um, but in the meantime, I believe on my Facebook page, all the links are available. But this is Zip Fizz, and I highly recommend it. So that's one item. The second item that I'm going to show you today is a drawer liner um, that I actually love these because it protects my drawer. I don't know when you cut things, such as the watermelon, which I have here to show you today. Um, but these are little drawer liners that you literally, um, it hooks, the lip of it hooks to the edge of your drawer. And I like it because it protects my drawer. When I'm cutting something incredibly juicy, like a watermelon, I noticed when I didn't have a towel there to guard it or it got drippy, sometimes it goes over to the floor and it actually can sometimes affect the paint or the stain on your drawers in your kitchen. So I like to do this to protect my drawer, but it also serves as a nice little spot you can for your trash in as well. It goes in the dishwasher and I actually have two of them. So I clip them to my drawers and then I have a nice protection on my drawer. So today I was gonna show you um, a hack of how I cut my watermelon. It's super easy. I'm sure there's other ways to do it and I may not be doing it well. I'm left-handed, so my cutting always looks a little wonky. Sometimes I cut with my right hand, sometimes I cut with my left hand, uh, but it's a super easy way to cut a watermelon. So basically, you cut the top and the bottom off as, I just noticed a hair on my ring. That's gross. Um, I did wash my hands right before I went live, but you basically, I was like, wrestle this little dude, but you cut the end of your watermelon on both ends. And I try not to lose too much of my good stuff. This was actually a teeny tiny watermelon, but um, we love to do watermelon. And in our family, I like to cut my watermelon in advance 
and I prepare it and I actually throw it in Ziploc bags. Um, you might have a great storage container that works better, but this has worked for our family. Um, and so I basically cut the rinds off, if you can kind of see uh, the edges of my watermelon now that it's sitting up and it's not wobbly anymore. And I try to not cut a lot of the watermelon off. So I basically am filleting my watermelon and I do this until I go all the way around with my watermelon. So I basically turn it into one big red, red ball. So I do this and get all the white rinds off, but again, trying to cut it as close to the rind as possible so I don't waste a lot. This happens to be a seedless watermelon, which is my favorite nowadays to not have to wrestle the seeds. And so you just do one more little cut. Now I have this almost looks like a football and I just kind of skin any of the little white on the bottom. I didn't get super close. So I just kind of go back and give it a little shaving here and there to make sure that it's nice and juicy when we cut it. The other thing I've noticed with the watermelon is refrigerated watermelon to me always tastes better than a room temperature watermelon. So I try to cut this a couple of hours before eating so that it can be nice and cool. I think it just always tastes a little bit more flavorful. But so now you can see my little watermelon. And so I'll tip him over at this point and cut little medallions. They're almost like little pizzas. And I just cut it and I just do slice, slice, slice. And then I go back and I start cutting it into wedges. And I personally like a little bit chunkier wedges because they don't become slushy by the end. And I just get my little Ziploc and throw it in here. So again, I have my, my dripping drawer um, liners to protect my drawer. You can also use them as a trash can, but I just fill up my watermelon and then it's ready to eat at all times. So anybody that needs a snack during the summer, they can just go to the fridge and get something really easy. Or if you're doing a fruit salad, you can have all of it prepped in advance and you're ready to go. So I'm not gonna make you watch me cut the entire watermelon, but you get the idea. Then you throw that in the fridge and it stays nice and cool. Another thing that I have grown to really love is, um, I'll move that over, is this chopper. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but this basically has a cutting device in here. You can cut your finger. Both my daughter and I cut my fingers last week in matching spots. So just be careful with that. But this is the most handy dandy little device and it chops things. It's really remarkable when you have like a salad or soup in the winter. I use mine all the time. Super easy to wash as well. But I'm gonna show you how, how you can actually um, cut like an onion. If you have a problem with your eyes watering when you cut onions, uh, this is super easy. So I'm just gonna peel the extra paper off of like the outer level of my onion. And then I'm actually gonna move it to a, a little bit tinier. So these pop out really easy. Just make sure your fingers aren't on the blades like I did last week. And then you just pop, pop the new one in. So it has a smaller grid and I cut it into quarters, just really easy so it's not too large. And you literally, I don't know if you can see it here, but you literally just pop it in and you give it a good whamola and it cuts it for you. So sometimes the final level doesn't want to be very accommodating, but you just give it a little, and then you can see all the little cuts down in the bottom. So I, I will continue to do that. And you just do that if you're making like a soup or a stew or something, this works fabulous with potatoes. Um, it works great for carrots but I like it for onions. I actually prepare my onions in advance. Again, I'm not sure if this is appropriate or not, but it's what I do and it works, is that you can go into, oh, you can see my lighting here. Thankful for the Polancas for installing that. Um, but you can actually um, go and get frozen onions in the frozen section of the grocery store. So I just get a bag of onions and I, cut the whole pack of them and I put them in containers and I freeze those as well. So I always have onions on hands 
And I use those for, um, thank you, sweetheart. I dropped a piece of watermelon. She just grabbed it from under my feet. Um, but I always have it on hand to make a, like homemade salsa from scratch. And I always have my onions are ready to go. So I will do that, but I highly, highly, highly recommend. I actually bought this for my mom and my mother-in-law. I always try to give them my favorite things that I discover. And this chopper is one of my very favorite things. It's great also if you have a salad, like a summer salad that requires a lot of like celery or uh, little things cut up. You can just chop, chop, chop really quickly. And when you clean it, it has like a little device that you can clean out all the little spots and then I throw mine in the dishwasher. So super easy, highly recommend. This is one of my go-tos. Another thing that I highly recommend I use, and you may not have been able to see it, is these flimsy little uh, cutting boards. This is fantastic for things like my onions, um, but it's also really great for my children. I have a larger size, they go in the dishwasher super easy. And actually, if my girls wouldn't mind bringing me your cutting tool that you guys use so well. Um, the, I have these at a place where my girls can grab them. Thank you, loves. Thank you, love. It's dirty because it's being used. But we have these knives, and I highly, highly recommend if you have children or any children will be in your kitchen at any time uh, to allow them to be part of the kitchen journey. But these knives are plastic. They're serrated, so they actually do cut decently well, but they save all your little digits so that you don't get cuts. So I highly recommend them. The girls are making our fruit bowls for this evening right now. And this is a wonderful thing. And they can easily grab one of these cutting boards because they're lightweight and they go in the dishwasher. I like it because I can throw this in the dishwasher and it doesn't take a ton of space. I didn't link this one, but I, I can find a link for those as well. But these little cutting guys, I highly recommend. You can throw them, thank you ladies. Uh, you can throw them in the dishwasher and they're super easy that way. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm showing you some of my favorite tips and hacks of kitchen life. Um, I do have some adorn things that I was gonna show you that these are fun little earrings that come in both pierced earrings and in clip-ons as well. And basically, um, I've got, I, I'm just showing you a couple of them, but I have all the different sports. If you're cheering on your kids or hearts, which are great for Valentine's, thank you. Thank you, love. And um, then we've got really playful ones for kids, cupcakes and rainbows. We've got all the different holidays. I've got unicorns. You can check out my website, um, my Etsy, Adorned by Jennifer, no spaces, um, but just all smushed together, Adorned by Jennifer on Etsy. And those links should also be through my website. Thank you, love. Um, so you can get some fun little earrings. You could do mommy and me matching, or it's nice to have pierced earring options for anyone um, who doesn't necessarily, or clip-on earrings for anyone who doesn't necessarily have pierced earrings. So um, as I close my Tuesday tips today, I'm just going to show you my girls as they're working really hard on making fruit cups. And this is where having those knives is really fantastic. Here they are over here. It's really fantastic for children. Um, you can see, oh, did, did I show you my collapsible strainers? I'm not sure if I showed you these. We, oh, I haven't yet. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, these are our collapsible strainers. We use these all the time. Thank you, babe. And one of the reasons why we like them is that you can, it's okay, you can, um, they collapse in the drawer so they don't take much space. I especially love that they have a tray to catch the water afterwards. So if you wanna cut something, it continues to catch the juices. And you can see the girls are using their plastic knives and they're making wonderful fruit cups for me, which this is a time saver and a blessing for mommy as well uh, because I have wonderful helpers in the kitchen. So do you girls wanna say hi? hi. You guys enjoying your summer? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thanks for tuning in today and uh, be sure to check out those links and let me know if you get them and if you like them. Make sure you like, follow, and share uh, Adorned by Jennifer and we totally appreciate you checking us out. Have a good day, bye.